This is a video clip from GCSE Foundation Practice Papers from MassTutor.biz and MassDVDs.co.uk. Looking at the paper 1A, we're actually going to consider this question number 3. I'm going to work through this question and I hope you find it helpful. Now if you do find it helpful and you want to see the rest of the paper, then you could obtain the paper and the DVD that goes with it where I work through all of the questions in detail including how to mark them and the marks that are awarded then go to one of the websites either massdvds.co.uk or masstutor.biz where you can obtain the whole paper along with the DVD. Well let's have a look at this question number three. GCSE Foundation Practice Paper from MathsDVDs.co.uk and MathsTutor.biz Paper 1A, question number 3 A bag contains 5 red counters, 3 blue counters and 1 white counter So I'm going to write that in a shorter form underneath Now you don't have to do that But anything that makes the question easier for you to answer and helps you to understand the question is a good idea. So I'm not saying you have to do that. The examiner's not going to give me any extra marks for doing that. What I'm doing is making the question very clear in my mind. I've got a bag with five red counters, three blue counters, and one white. And I'm going to add that up. That's eight, nine. Nine total counters. Again, that is for me to understand the question clearly not the examiner. A counter is removed from the bag at random. In other words, these are in a bag, they're shaken up. The word random means you put it in, you can't see which it is, and you just pull one out. What is the probability that it's a red counter? Now, probability must be written as a fraction. Must be written as a fraction. Now, in fact, there are three ways of writing fractions. A number over a number, or as a decimal, or in fact as a percentage. But usually we go with the number over a number. So let's write our answer of a probability fraction as something over something. And it's the red counters, which is nice and clear. I haven't got to read the question again. Out of how many altogether? Well, that is a straightforward question. As long as you make it clear when you're thinking straight. What's the probability of a blue or a white counter? So how many blues are there? How many whites are there? Three plus one, four altogether, four counters are blue or white. So probability must be written as a fraction, not if you write it as a ratio, you actually will get it marked wrong. So that's an important must. Probability must be written as a fraction. The bottom number is how many altogether. The top number is how many the particular part of the question is asking you about. So in fact there are four marks there. That's quite generous, isn't it? One mark for the bottom number, one mark for the top number, one mark for the bottom number, and one for the top number.